Jean-Pierre was a nearly perfect human being. Highly intelligent, keenly charismatic, sharply aware of current fashion trends. He was meticulously beautiful and his life consisted of nothing but the finer things. His schedule, yes I said his schedule, was nothing short of flawless. He excelled in everything he ever put his hands to. Jean-Pierre was unlike other geniuses, simply because he was smarter. He could dance, he could sing, he could tie a cherry stem with his tongue, and rumor has it, he could even dunk a full-size basketball. If there was ever a stunning example of a role model for your children, look no further than Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre was a highly sought-after keynote speaker at large motivational conferences. Legend even has it that Jean-Pierre once spoke with the Queen of England and made her second-guess her royalty. Jean-Pierre only showers on oddly numbered days and he wakes up every morning at 4.44 a.m. Though at first glance it may not look as if Jean-Pierre spends much time in the gym. But hear ye this, Jean-Pierre has muscles the size of a carrot injected with a formula to make it considerably bigger than an average carrot. Jean-Pierre has one secret addiction that is highly secret and no one cares to know about it. Jean-Pierre is highly addicted to chocolate ding-dongs. His addiction is so horrifying and terrible that it actually makes little children weep. It makes the elderly second guess their elderliness. It has both negatively and positively influenced governments in third world countries. Jean-Pierre is awesome and his middle name rhymes with Tickleberry. Schmidt and Thomas is Jean-Pierre's next door neighbor. Though they've lived in such close proximity for over 20 years, Schmithen has never been invited over to Jean-Pierre's townhouse. Schmithen is a distant cousin to little Wayne, and he's been seen taking karate classes at the YMCA. Schmithen makes Mr. T look like Mr. W, which appropriately stands for weakling.